Meghan Markle showed off her playful side by sticking out her tongue in front of adoring crowds as she joined the royal family at Sandringham today. The former Suits actress was the star attraction at the Christmas Day gathering with hundreds of fans giving her the royal seal of approval. Wearing a £986 Centala camel coat, brown beret and £630 Stuart Weitzman's Highline boots, Meghan walked arm in arm with Harry. She was clutching a brown leather Chloe Pixie bag, which sells for £1,400. Meghan proudly displayed her engagement ring as they made the short journey from Sandringham House to St. Mary Magdalene Church, where the royals have attended service since 1988. The former Suits actress was the star attraction at their Christmas Day gathering, Image, Getty Images Europe, William and Kate walk alongside Meghan and Harry, Image, Karen Anvil, Harry and Meghan greet the crowds, Image, Reuters, Meghan joined the rest of the royals for the church service, Image, Getty Images Europe, huge crowds of well-wishers queued up from 2 a.m. to get the best vantage points outside the church in order to catch a glimpse of Prince Harry's new stunning fiancé. After showing she had mastered the art of the curtsy, the American actress, 36, greeted people with her now customary hi, I'm Meghan, as she became the first non-member of the royal family to join them for Christmas in a huge shift with normal tradition. But some onlookers gathered, patiently in the coal were left disappointed when Harry told them they could not stop for selfies. Kate Middleton wears £2,665 tartan miu miu coat, image, Reuters. William and Kate waved to crowds, image, Reuters. The whole family stepped out on Christmas Day, image, AFP. Others spoke of the lack of Christmas cheer from royals who spurned talking to them, and marched back to the warmth of the house after the church service. Judith Wallace, 70, from Chesterfield spoke to Harry and Meghan spent a few minutes talking with her after the service. She said Harry recognized her teddy bear called Maureen, which is a mascot for armed forces charity Safa, and her hat which bore the Gurkha regiment emblem. Judith said, Meghan was lovely, she came right up to us and said hi, I'm Meghan. She is so beautiful and very sweet. Unfortunately Harry said he normally would have a photo with Maureen but that he couldn't today which was a little disappointing. Meghan and Harry wowed the crowds, image. Getty. The whole family got together for the occasion. Image. P.A. Teskilda, manager of Park House, which describes itself as a unique hotel for disabled people, was with Ms. Wallace. She said of Ms. Markle, she was just so natural, so lovely. She added, I think they just wished us a happy Christmas and were interested in whether we had been before. The Queen arrived in a car, with the Duchess of Cornwall and joined the group from the house which also included the Duke of Edinburgh and the Prince of Wales. Meghan joined Harry and Kate and William, image, Kent Gavin Daily Mirror, wearing a shocking orange coat and hat ensemble, the Queen chose not to speak to the crowd, instead decamping into the warmth of her, chauffeur driven Bentley to be taken back to the main house. Prince Philip, 96, chose to walk to and from church with other members of the family, including William and Kate, who is pregnant with her third child and showed off a small baby bump beneath a striking tartan coat. William and Kate stayed to speak to a small selection of the Sandringham staff, taking a bouquet gift and even divulging that Prince George was overjoyed to receive a gift of a police car from Santa. The newly engaged Meghan chatted to her fans, image, P.A. William revealed it was the only gift his four-year-old son had asked for, passing the request on to Father Christmas during a trip to Finland's capital city Helsinki last month. Kate outdid Meghan in the expense stakes wearing her £2,665 double-breasted tartan miu miu coat for the service. Royal watcher and local resident Sue Reynolds from Sandringham even told how she felt let down by the royals who chose not to speak to members of the crowd. Instead of staying for a few minutes to chat, most of the family marched quickly back to the main house. 
Harry and Meghan stepped out as a couple on Christmas Day, image, AFP, Sue said. Perhaps it would be a bit much to say how disgusted I am, but we really feel let down today. We live locally and have been coming here nearly every year for the past 20 years and for most of the royals to just walk on past us has left us really disappointed. Emily Randall, 31, was first in their queue to get into the area by the church with her boyfriend Jamie Mackay, 42. She said they set out from Chichester in Sussex before 10pm on Christmas Eve and arrived at Sandringham around 2am. The Queen wore a bright orange coat and hat. Image. Getty Image is Europe. We thought it would be really busy, she said. We looked online. We were the first ones here camping in the dark for two hours. The Queen's granddaughter Zara Tyndall and husband Mike did not attend Sandringham as they are holidaying in Australia with their daughter. Dorothy Peters, 74 and her husband Harold, 77, have been coming to Sandringham for the past decade from their home in Chelmsford, Essex. Dorothy revealed, it was lovely to see them both in person. They are such a handsome couple. Harry told me he was looking forward to having lunch with the family and was going to tune in to watch the Queen's speech. Back at Sandringham House, the royal family traditionally enjoy Sandringham reared turkey before settling down to watch TV, including the Queen's Christmas message, which this year includes a reference to welcoming new members into the royal family in 2018.